There has never been a better time than now to become an AI animation maker. You might have seen hundreds of these kinds of AI animated kids stories on YouTube. Judging by their views, it's no secret that they earn thousands of dollars by creating these simple AI animations. These animations are easy to make, and the best part is that you can start doing this too. But why now? You see, there are a lot of AI tools what we can use to make animations, but they all cost fortune. However, there is a new video generator from China, and at this moment, it's completely free to use. Which means you have everything you want to start from scratch. And this is the video I made using that tool. Suddenly, a rustling sound came from the bushes. Emily and Lee froze, their eyes wide. From the bushes emerged a small, glowing creature, like a tiny fox made of light. It blinked at them curiously, its fur shimmering with magical energy. The tool I'm talking about is called UN AI. To be honest, this site have ability to generate videos with amazing details. At the moment I'm making this video, this site does not have any image to video option, so we might have to use text prompts to generate videos. But in order to get quality results, you need to write well-detailed complex prompts, which is time-consuming and could be stressful. That's why we are going to use ChatGPT to write the prompts we want. I even created this special prompt just so you don't have to spend time writing that. This will generate all the details you need, including consistent characters. So what you have to do is copy this prompt and paste it in ChatGPT. Now remove this part and type whatever story you want to create. So I want to create a story about two kids named Emily and Lee going on a night adventure. Something like that would be enough. Now remove this part and type the style you want. I like the 3D Pixar animation style. Here, you can set the number of scenes. Now hit enter and wait till it generates your script. After the script is generated, you might able to see that each scene has a narration part and a video prompt. And you can see how detailed this video prompt is. It has described action, background, camera movement and style alongside with consistent character prompts for each scene. Copy the video prompt and paste it in the UN AI prompt box and click the generate button. So this is the video clip generated using that prompt. I mean, look at the details. Nobody can even say this was generated using some text prompt. Also, the AI managed to create the characters with exact details provided in the prompt. Generate all the scenes as video clips and download them into a folder. Now we have to generate the voiceover. A free tool like ClipChamp would be enough for the work. I have Windows version installed on my computer, so I'm going to use its text-to-speech feature. Select the text-to-speech feature. Now select a suitable voice. Choose from a variety of voices to help you create a story worth sharing. After that, copy and paste all the narration parts from ChatGPT. It was a quiet night in the small town the stars twinkling like tiny lanterns in the sky. ClipChamp doesn't allow you to download audio files, so export the 480p version. Now we have basic things needed to start the editing process. I recommend a tool like CapCut for the editing process because it's free and easy to use. Anyway, first drag your voiceover file onto the timeline and extract the audio. Now arrange the video clips according to the voiceover. This will basically take a few minutes. When editing, I notice that ChatGPT haven't provided an introduction scene for this story. It just begins with two kids walking out the yard. So I generated an opening scene for the intro. Make sure you have the correct scene when the related voiceover part is playing. If the scene is longer than the voiceover part, then reduce the size of the video clip. If the voiceover part is too long, then the video then consider generating extra video clips.
If the video is only a little shorter than the voiceover like this one, then use speed options to adjust the video length. After the basic editing is done, this is how it looks like. It was a quiet night in the small town, the stars twinkling like tiny lanterns in the sky. Emily and Lee, full of excitement, tiptoed out of the house, their hearts racing with the thrill of adventure. It's good, but we can add some sound effects to it. This will make the video more engaging. Go to audio and select sound effects. Now search for what you need. Drag and place it in the timeline. Now reduce the noise until you can hear the voiceover part clearly. The streets were silent, except for the chirping of crickets and the distant hoot of an owl. Following the same steps, I added few more sound effects. After editing is done, export your video at highest quality possible. Let's take a look at our final results again. It was a quiet night in the small town, the stars twinkling like tiny lanterns in the sky. Emily and Lee, full of excitement, tiptoed out of the house, their hearts racing with the thrill of adventure. The streets were silent, except for the chirping of crickets and the distant hoot of an owl. Emily and Lee walked under the streetlights, their shadows stretching long across the pavement. Ahead of them stood the entrance to the forest, dark and mysterious. A gentle breeze rustled the trees, and the air smelled of pine and damp earth. As they stepped into the forest, the sounds of the town faded away. The moonlight filtered through the trees, casting eerie yet beautiful patterns on the ground. Deeper into the forest, they discovered a small, glowing stream. The water shimmered like liquid silver under the moonlight. They knelt beside it, dipping their hands into the cool water. Suddenly, a rustling sound came from the bushes. Emily and Lee froze, their eyes wide. From the bushes emerged a small, glowing creature, like a tiny fox made of light. It blinked at them curiously. I know that there are some inconsistencies, because we did all of this from text to video. But this will be completely enough to get you started on your AI animation journey. We can use image to video option to avoid these mistakes easily. If you want to know how to do it, then I've already made a video about it, so check it out. Have a nice day, and I'll see you on next video.